good morning today we discuss some problem of integration by substitution from your exercise 9b first number 1 beta ix integrate x square cos x cube dx here we put x cube is equal to z another new variable z differentiate both side d by dx of x cube is equal to dz by dx that is like 3x square is equal to dz by dx x square dx is equal to dz by 3 so that equal to integral integral cos z dz by 3 that is 1 by 3 comes out 1 by 3 is a constant so we take it out of integral sign the 1 by 3 integral cos z dz 1 by 3 sin z plus c you know the integral of cos z is equal to sin z so that equal to 1 by 3 sin in place of z we go to x cube because we put x cube is equal to z so 1 by 3 sin x cube plus c similarly <coughs> in the it x the integrand is integrand is e to the power x sec e to the power x tan e to the power x dx here we put e to the power x is equal to another variable t so differentiate both side we get e to the power x is equal to dt by dx because the derivative of e to the power x is e to the power x so e to the power x dx is equal to dt so the integral becomes sec t tan t dt so we know the integral of sec t tan t is equal to sec t plus c so put in place of t e to the power x we get sec e to the power x plus c another problem xi number 1 x i integral sec square root x divided by root x dx dx here we put root x is equal to t differentiate both side with respect to x d by dx of root x is equal to dt by dx You know the derivative of root x is one by two root x. That is equal to dt by dx. That implies dx by two root x. That is equal to dt. So the integral becomes integral sec square t dt. In place of dx by root x, we put dt. Root in place of the root x we go to t. So six square t. You know six square two dt. Sorry, two dt. Two dt. That we take two from integral sign. So we get six square t dt. That equal to correct integral six square t dt. You know the integral of x square t is tan t, two tan t plus c. That equal to two tan root x plus c. Two tan root x plus c. Okay. Next, we discuss another problem from number two. From number two. Number two, double I. Integral tan q x sec square x dx. That is called in tan q x sec square x dx. Who do tan x is equal to t. So t by dx of tan x. Is equal to dt by dx. That implies sec square x is equal to dt by dx. That sec square x 
dx that is equal to dt. So the integral becomes pq dt that is equal to p to the power 4 x to the power n formula e to the x to the power n formula then we will write p to the power 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 that means t to the power 4 divided by 4 plus c that is in place of t go to tan to the power 4 x by 4 plus c tan to the power 4 by 4 tan to the power 4x by 4 plus c ok next we will discuss another problem if we direct put the formula integral f of x equal to the power n f dash x dx that you know f of x equal to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus c so here the derivative of tan x is x square x if we put directly this formula then we also get tan to the power 4x by 4 plus c ok now we will discuss another problem I B number 2 I B integral sin x <coughs> divided by cos q x dx ok we write it as sin x by cos x into 1 by cos square x dx that equal to integral tan x into sec square x dx here also we put tan x is equal to t sec square x dx is equal to dt then we get t dt that equal to t square by 2 plus c ok put tan x is equal to t that is sec square x is equal to dt by dx that implies sec square x dx is equal to dt so we get t dt that equal to t square by 2 plus c that equal to tan square by x by 2 plus c also we solve it directly applying the formula that you know f of x to the power n f dash x dx again we discuss another problem the integral cos x by sin to the power 5x dx ok who do sin x is equal to t that implies d by dx of sin x sin x is equal to dt by dx that implies cos x is equal to dt by dx cos x dx is equal to dt so the integral becomes integral dt by t to the power 5 that we have t to the power minus 5 dt that equal to t to the power minus 5 plus 1 divided by minus 5 plus 1 plus c that equal to t to the power minus 4 by minus 4 plus c that equal to minus 1 by 4 t to the power 4 plus c in place of t we put sin x so 1 by 4 sin to the power 4x plus c minus 1 by 4 sin to the power 4x plus c now we will discuss another problem the double i root integral root over root over 
वन माइनस साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स डीएक्स ओके हियर वी पुट वन माइनस साइन एक्स इजिकल टू टी दैट इन बाय टी बाय डीएक्स ऑफ वन माइनस साइन एक्स इजिकल टू टी बाय डीएक्स दैट इन बाय माइनस कॉस एक्स इजिकल टू टी बाय डीएक्स That imply my minus cos x minus cos x dx is equal to dt or cos x dx cos x dx is equal to minus dt. So the integral becomes one integral t to the power root minus dt. That is minus of integral t to the power half dt t to the power half dt so we write minus minus t to the power half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 plus c plus c that is equal to minus t to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 plus c That equal to minus two by three e to the power three by two plus c minus two by three t means one minus sine x one minus sine x equal to the power three by two plus c. Okay. Next we we'll discuss another problem. Three number three. I integral x root over x square plus three dx. Okay, four two x square plus three is equal to t. Differentiate both sides. D by dx of x square plus three that equal to dt by dx that equal to two x dt by dx. That imply x dx is equal to dt by two. X dx is equal to dt by two. So that equal to integral root over t dt by two. That is one by two integral t to the power half dt. That equal to one by two into t to the power half plus one. One by two plus one plus c. Okay. That equal to t to the power one by two t to the power three by two by three by two plus c. That is one by two into two by three. Into t to the power three by two plus c that equal to one by three t to the power three by two plus c that equal to one by three in place of a t we put x square plus three whole to the power three by two plus c. Okay. Next we we'll discuss another problem. I B number three I B integral x square plus one divided by x cube x cube plus three x plus seven Whole cube, whole cube dx. Here we put x cube plus 3x plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 is equal to t. That implies d by dx of x cube plus 3x plus 7. That is equal to t by dx. So do you know the derivative of x cube 3x square? 3x square, 3x derivative of 3, and 
and the derivative of 7 is 0. So 3x square plus 3 is equal to dt by dx. That in common t 3x square plus 1 that equal to dt by dx dt by dx that imply x square plus 3 x sorry x square plus 1 whole dx is equal to dt by 3 so in place of x square plus 1 whole dx we put dt by 3 so the integral becomes dt by 3 whole divided by t cube whole divided by t cube so we take a out 1 by 3 that integral dt by t cube ok that we write 1 by 3 integral t to the power minus 3 dt t to the power minus 3 dt so we write in that equal to 1 by 3 t to t to the power minus 3 plus 1 divided by minus 3 plus 1 plus c that equal to 1 by 3 into t to the power minus 2 by minus 2 plus c plus c that equal to <coughs> minus 1 by 6 t square plus c minus 1 by 6 t square means in place of a t, we go to x cube, x cube plus 3x plus 7 whole square plus c, whole square plus c. Okay. Now we we'll discuss another problem from number four, g double i. Number four, B double A integral e to the power two tan x in six square x dx two tan x six square x dx. Here we go to two tan x is equal to t. That imply d by dx of 2 tan x that equal to dt by dx so the derivative of 2 tan x is 2 sec square x that means 2 is constant remains constant and the derivative of tan x is sec square x 2 tan x 2 sec square x that equal to dt by dx that implies sec square x dx is equal to dt by 2 so that is e to the power t dt by 2 that equal to 1 by 2 integral e to the power t dt that equal to 1 by 2 into e to the power t plus c <coughs> you know the integral of e to the power t is e to the power t so we write 1 by 2 e to the power 2 tan x plus c 2 tan x plus c now we take another problem that is in i x integral number 4 i x e to the power cos square x into sin 2x dx u to cos square x is equal to t that imply d by dx of cos square x is equal to dt by dx that you know the derivative of cos square x we put here chain rule has to be differentiated cos square x with respect to cos x then cos x with respect to x so cos square x the derivative cos square x with respect to cos x is equal to cos x into d by dx of cos x 
that is equal to dt by dx that's 2 cos x into minus sin x derivative of cos x is g minus sin x that is minus 2 sin x into cos x that equal to dt by dx minus sin 2x that equal to dt by dx that implies sin 2x dx minus dt ok so we write the integral as e to the power t minus dt it is minus dt that is we write in that equal to minus integral e to the power t dt that equal to minus e to the power t plus c minus e to the power cos square x plus c minus e to the power cos square x plus c ok now we discuss another problem from number 5 Number five, five triple five, integral six sec inverse x whole square divided by x root over x root over x square minus one dx put to sec inverse x is equal to t that implies t by dx of sec inverse x is equal to dt by dx that imply 1 by x root over x square minus 1 this is the derivative of sec inverse x is equal to dt by dx that imply dx by x root over x square minus 1 is equal to dt so the integral becomes integral t square dt in place of dx by x root over x square minus 1 we put dt in place of a set inverse x we put t so we get t square dt t square dt that equal to t cube by 3 plus c t to the power 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 ok that equal to sec inverse x whole cube by 3 plus c sec inverse x whole cube by 3 plus c ok next we will discuss another problem number 6 Number six six b integral dx by x square plus two x plus two x square plus two x plus two we write dx by one plus x square plus two x plus one okay that equal to dx by 1 plus x plus 1 whole square you know x plus 1 whole square is x square plus 2x plus 1 who do x plus 1 is equal to t that imply 1 d by dx of x plus 1 that equal to dt by dx that imply 1 equal to dt by dx that imply dx is equal to dt so the integral becomes integral dt by 1 plus t square you know dx by 1 plus x square tan inverse x so here we write dt by 1 plus t square is equal to tan inverse t plus c that equal to tan inverse 1 plus x or tan inverse 1 plus x or x plus 1 tan inverse x plus 1 plus c 
x plus 1 cos c. Now we discuss another problem from 6, 7, from number 7, double i, 7 double i, integral 3 to the power x, e to the power 2x dx, okay, that is called e to the power ln 3 to the power x, e to the power 2x dx, okay, you know, e to the power, e to the power ln t, that is equal to t, e to the power ln t is equal to t, okay, so here we write integral e to the power x ln 3, e to the power 2x dx, that is equal to integral e to the power x ln 3 plus 2x dx integral e to the power ln 3 plus 2 whole x dx that equal to e to the power ln 3 plus 2 whole x divided by ln 3 plus 2 plus c since c you know e to the power mx dx is equal to e to the power mx divided by m plus c where m is a constant here also ln3 plus 2 is a constant so we get e to the power ln3 plus 2 whole x divided by ln3 plus 2 plus c next we discuss another problem from Number seven triple i seven triple i integral integral x plus one ln x square plus two x plus three divided by plus two sorry x square plus two x plus two divided by x square plus 2x plus 2 dx put to ln x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to t that imply d by dx of ln x square plus 2x plus 2 is equal to dt by dx that imply first we differentiate ln x square plus 2x plus 2 with respect to x square plus 2x plus 2 that we get 1 by x square plus 2x plus 2 into d by dx of x square plus 2x plus 2 using the chain rules of the differentiation that is equal to dt by dx okay that imply 1 by x square plus 2x plus 2 into 2x plus 2 that equal to dt by dx that imply 2 whole into x plus 1 divided by x square plus 2x plus 2 that equal to dt by dx that imply x plus 1 whole dx divided by x square plus 2x plus 2 that equal to dt by 2 dt by 2 so the integral becomes in place of x plus 1 dx divided by x square plus 2x plus 2 we put dt by 2 in place of ln x square plus 2x plus 2 we put t so the integral becomes t that equal to integral t into dt by 2 that 1 by 2 take common t dt that equal to 1 by 2 into t square by 2 plus c that equal to 1 by 4 1 by 4 t square plus c that 1 by 4 
ln x square plus 2x plus 2 whole square plus c in place of t we put ln x square plus 2x plus 2 next we discuss another problem from number 8 number 8 take i integral sin x divided by sin x plus alpha whole dx ok u to x plus alpha is equal to z that implies d by dx of x plus alpha alpha is a constant dz by dx here if you go to x plus alpha is equal to z then we get a x is equal to z minus alpha z minus alpha the derivative of x plus alpha is equal to 1 so dz by dx dx is equal to dz that the integral becomes sin z minus alpha divided by sin z in dz sin z dz now we expand the sin z minus alpha we get sin z into cos alpha minus cos z into sin alpha using sin of a minus b formula sin z dz ok now we separate it separate that equal to integral sin z into cos alpha divided by sin z minus cos z into sin alpha divided by sin z dz that integral cos alpha minus cot z into sin alpha whole dz that equal to integral cos alpha dz minus integral cot z into sin alpha dz that equal to cos alpha integral dz minus sin alpha integral cot z dz so that cos alpha into z minus sin alpha into ln ln sin z mod plus c you know the integral of cot x that equal to ln sin x so that a cos alpha into x plus alpha you know the so x plus alpha is z minus sin alpha into ln sin x plus alpha mod plus c ok that's all are the problem of integration by substitution ok thank you